Hey friends, today we are talking about micro animations and interactions in Figma. And we're gonna do it using this little heart right here. Pop. So to start, you're gonna need a heart icon and luckily our guy Meggie has already created a tutorial for that. I will link that in this post so that you can learn how to create those hearts and then come on back. So let's get started. We've got our heart down here and we're gonna make a couple of copies of this. So we're gonna do option shift click and drag and I need command D. D, D, D. So we've got all the hearts we need. These two, we're gonna click on the hearts and we're going to make them negative eight. So a little bit turned. And then we're gonna do the same thing here, but with eight. So our goal is to make this go do, 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 do. The next one we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this original heart down here. We're gonna pull it down and we're gonna do the click state. So to do the click state, we are going to make it a little bit larger. I'm holding down option and shift. And if you're fine that it's clipping off, you probably have clip content on, so turn that off. We're gonna go here, we're gonna do Shift X to swap it to a fill instead of a stroke, and we're gonna make it this little pink. Next, we're going to take the original again, pop it down here, Shift X, make it pink again, and I'm gonna duplicate that. Next, we're going to take this guy, we're gonna make him lighter pink. And then final, we're just gonna take one of these and we're gonna have the outlined again. So these are all of the hearts that you're gonna need for this. Our goal is that it shakes when you hover over it. When you click on it, it turns pink. When I hover over it again, it turns light pink. And if I click on it, it'll go back to the original. So let's start out with the shake. And I'm gonna do this every time I say shake. So right now we're gonna click on here. We're gonna do Shift E to switch to prototype mode. We're gonna make a little noodle from here to here, and we're going to do mouse enter. My gut reaction when I was first testing this out was to do on hover, but I'm gonna show you at the end why I didn't end up doing that. So we've got, when the mouse enters, it's gonna to switch to here. For here, we're going to go after delay. We're gonna switch this to one, switch this to 100. I'm gonna do the same thing for the next couple, after delay. 100, one more, one, and after delay. Okay, now on this last one, we've landed here as the final one, and when the mouse leaves, I want it to start over again. So I'm gonna go from here, I'm gonna do mouse leave, because we've done mouse enter, now, once it goes away, we want it to start at the beginning, mouse leave, and start back at the original. So now we've got our shaking part. Next, we're gonna do what happens when we click it. So I'm gonna select this top row of hearts right here, and I'm gonna drag from one of them. It's gonna drag from all of them now because they're all selected. And I'm gonna go to here, and this is on click. I, the reason I'm doing it from all of them is because no matter where it's doing the little shimmy, at any point, I wanna be able to click there. So I do on click and it turns into this heart and I'm gonna do smart animate, make sure that's turned on because it's gonna give it a little bit of a better transition. From there, I'm gonna grab onto this frame and do again after delay. We're gonna do a really quick one, one millisecond and 100. And then we're actually gonna do a longer one from here after delay, a thousand and a thousand. So we're adding this one in because it's gonna give us some time between landing on this kind of final state of the selected heart and going to the hover state. I don't want it immediately to go to that light pink. So giving it this one second delay right here allows the user to have time to kind of exit. After that, we're gonna do another mouse enter from here. When the mouse enters this heart, it's gonna to go to another kind of hover state. And we also wanna mouse leave on here too. So that when you leave, you go back to the regular filled state. Mouse leave. We also don't need the full thousand on this, so let's do 200. And same thing with this one, 200. And lastly, we need a way to get back to the original. I'm realizing this guy is a little turn. We want him at zero. And we're gonna go from the final filled state and the filled hover state, and we're gonna go back to prototyping, and we are going to do on click, get to here. Now that we've got this guy, we want to have the option that if you click on it, it goes back to the selected state. Or if you leave this one, 
then it goes back to the original. So this is a mouse leave. So before we try this out, what we want to do is make this an interactive component so that when you want to add this to your designs, you only have to move around one icon and not all of these different spaces. So what we're going to do is we're going to select all of these. We're going to create component set. When I do shift E, all of my prototyping is still there. We're going to grab this little guy. We're going to pop him over here. Let's put him on an artboard and let's try it out. So if I shift E, let's start flow three. Now we've got our little guy here. Boop, 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 boop. Clicking on it, changed over. Now it's light pink. Click it, perfect. So before I leave, I wanna show you a couple other scenarios of kind of why I did things the way I did. Remember I was talking about mouse enter versus hover and adding in a couple additional hearts. So let's look at this right here. We've got our happy heart here. That is what I'm calling the one that worked the way that we wanted it. It does the little jiggle, click, can go out. There we go, lovely. If I had switched to hover, you could see the difference here is that I'm hovering over it. So every time I'm still over this heart, it just keeps wiggling. I only want it to wiggle once. I wanna leave and then come back. I don't want it to keep going. So that's what the difference of using the move in versus the hover did for us here. Then less noodles, what do I mean by that? So on this option, Shift E to see them all. I took out all these noodles here, where as you can see right here, I've got a, a bundle of noodles here. Why did I add those all in? If I don't add them in, it takes out kind of less chaos, but you can see that the clicking option doesn't show up until it's done doing the little wiggle. With this one, I can click at any time while it's moving versus this one, I have to wait until it's done. Then a couple other things of kind of why did I do it? Removing the second pink heart. So on here, I don't have that, the, I guess it's the third one really, that third heart over here versus when we actually did it, we added that in. So what's the difference? When I click on it, I'm still in the heart and it's already turned to the light pink. When I click on it, I wanna be able to go out and then back in to get the light pink. That's why we did it to a thousand milliseconds. If you, obviously if you stay in here for more than a thousand, it's then gonna to turn to pink, but that gives you a little bit of a leeway to kind of get out of the heart and then back in as opposed to here it's gonna go to pink right away as soon as you move. And then this last one, what happens if I remove that last heart? So why did I add in this last one here? Why couldn't I have just gone right from this pink all the way back? Let's see what happens. Wiggle, great. The wiggle starts immediately again. I don't want the wiggle to happen until I go out. Now I can go back. I wanna click, I wanna leave, and then I want the wiggle to start as opposed to this one the wiggle happens immediately after I unclick it. So those are totally just my opinions of how I wanted it to work and why I did it the way I did it. But I just wanted to show you how the different interactions that you choose can lead to different looks in the prototypes. Hopefully that's helpful and I'll see y'all later. Bye.